we'll, we might go into that in another like section in and of itself to look at some customization. You've got your chart of accounts, which is also located in the lists. It's also located down here. We'll talk about the chart of accounts later. That's going to be one of the major kind of foundational things we need to get right in order to enter the forms. You've got your payroll settings. So we turned on the payroll. We'll talk about payroll more in a future presentation. It's a whole kind of area in and of itself that we'll put some attention to at a future point. And then you've got the QuickBooks Labs and the themes down below. So I just wanna take a quick look at this QuickBooks Labs. These are things that they're kind of experimenting with. Remember that you're in an online application and therefore they could you know, test things out on the website. So these are things that they're kind of testing out. The only thing we have in here currently is the QuickBooks themes and they have this dark mode, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty neat. It's been in this labs area for a long time. So I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't seem like they're experimenting with it at this point, but uh, I turned it on. So if you turn it on here, then you're gonna have this new window that if you hit the cog drop down that says themes. And if you wanna go into the themes, you can then go into dark mode, which sounds kind of nefarious, like you're gonna be doing accounting on the Death Star or something like that. But it's not, it's actually, I think it's actually really nice if you work in QuickBooks a lot because you can see the screen that you're looking at right now is very bright. So that's gonna be harsh on the eyes if you do uh, a lot of bookkeeping for a long time. So oftentimes on many things I use, if I have a dark mode, I turn on the dark mode because it's easier on the eyes, even if it, even if it f makes you feel like you're working on the Death Star or something like that. It's actually, 